It was the first G20 summit Vladimir Putin has joined, albeit remotely, since the 2022 Ukraine conflict. In a virtual meeting with world leaders on Wednesday, the Russian president softened his usual hostile tone, referring to the conflict as a tragedy and even at one point using the word war to describe Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine instead of his preferred term of special military operation. Some colleagues have already said in their speeches that they are shocked by the ongoing aggression of Russia in Ukraine. We must think about how to stop this tragedy. By the way, Russia has never refused peace negotiations with Ukraine. It's not Russia, but Ukraine that has publicly announced that it's withdrawing from the negotiation process. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has repeatedly said he will only come to the negotiation table if Russia withdraws from Ukrainian territory. Speaking after the G20 meeting, the German Chancellor said Putin knew how to end the war. In the Sache war the important thing for me is that it was a good opportunity for us to make clear that peace in Ukraine is endangered because Russia attacked Ukraine and that it can easily be restored if Russia withdraws its troops. But Putin's shift in tone suggests he senses an opportunity to coax Ukraine's Western allies, with their attention diverted to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the increasing division over aid for Ukraine and the US Congress as the war grinds on. Kyiv launched a counter-offensive to retake occupied territory this summer, but has not achieved a major breakthrough. Russia still controls nearly a fifth of the country, including the Donbass region and Crimea, which it took in 2014. The two countries are locked in a war of attrition with heavy losses on both sides. And with the advance of winter, troops now face fighting in snow and freezing temperatures.